Here at JBay, our goal is to convert biomass to clean, renewable transportation fuels that can replace conventional gasoline, diesel, and jet fuel. While that sounds like a simple goal, a lot has to happen to make it a reality. You can think of the different stages from converting biomass all the way to a fuel as puzzle pieces that have to fit together. First, the biomass feedstocks we use should be low input and available at a large scale while avoiding competition with food production. That biomass needs to be harvested, stored, and transported to biorefineries in a manner that minimizes cost, emissions, and storage losses. At biorefineries, we need to break down biomass into its constituent sugars efficiently without relying on harsh operating conditions or toxic catalysts. And we need host organisms capable of converting the resulting sugars into fuels that can be dropped into existing fuel infrastructure and engines. The mission of the Techno-Economic Analysis Group is to quantitatively model our progress toward these goals. We work directly with the experimentalists at the really early stages of research uh, and incorporate their results into our models. And often it's a back and forth, it ends up being an iterative process. But the idea is that they may be working on a small part of the overall supply chain for a given fuel or product, and they want to know how their contribution in research can impact the overall cost competitiveness, uh, the efficiency, the environmental impact of the given fuel or product that they ultimately want to produce. We do this using a combination of tools and methods. The first is chemical process modeling, which provides insight into how advances made at the bench scale can impact capital costs, operating costs, and the energy balance at a commercial scale biorefinery. For example, our researchers found that moving from traditional water wash ionic liquid pretreatment process to a one pot consolidated process can in some cases cut biorefinery capital costs nearly in half. Second, we conduct geospatial modeling to understand how changes in feedstock crop yield, composition, and ability to withstand environmental stress can affect potential biomass availability, land requirements for dedicated crops, and the optimal logistics strategies for collecting, storing, and delivering biomass to biorefineries. Third, we conduct life cycle assessments to quantify the net environmental impact of JBay technologies on energy use, greenhouse gas emissions, reliance on freshwater resources, land use, and human health across the entire supply chain. By conducting this modeling at the earliest stages of research and collaborating closely with our colleagues in every division, we can help maximize the chances that someday you'll fill up your tank with a fuel developed at JBay.